Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 setup experience that Microsoft is starting to test out since the build 26040. And this new setup experience is a cleaner and a more modern design. Also, Microsoft is answering the question why they didn't update the setup experience for so long. Well, they tried to continue the support for the unattended installation, so they had some issues with that, I guess. But Microsoft, starting with this build, are testing the new setup experience, which we're going to test in a moment. And for this build, Microsoft is also providing guys so every user can test out the new setup experience. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, if you're interested in getting the ISO for this build, just go into the official Microsoft website and you're going to have here the addition build 26040 selected, click on confirm, and you're going to have to select the product language and then click on confirm and the ISO should be offered to you. Now I also got the ISO and we're going to put up into this new experience into this new setup experience to showcase it and this is basically the same boot logo and loading screen but things will be different once we get to the setup so as you notice we now have select language settings language to install time and currency i'm going to leave them on english click on next keyboard or input method us click on next and here we have select setup option and we have i would like to install windows 11 repair my pc or launch the legacy experience let's just select install windows 11 select i agree and then click on next then we're gonna have to enter the product key of course i'm gonna select i don't have a product key as you can see also the loading screen is pretty different we're gonna select windows 11 pro and then click on next accept the terms and as you can see the disk and partition management is pretty different now as you can see we have the refresh button load driver bring disk online delete partition format partition create partition and also extend partition you can select the space create a partition apply as you can see it created the partition alongside with the system reserved and also some other system partition that it automatically creates we select the partition click on next and the installation process should start after the screen ready to install you won't be able to use your pc during installation save and close your files before you begin to recap we've chosen to install windows 11 and then keep nothing basically it's going to format our entire system and we also have the link to check device specifications and we have here a link that we can check if we want if we click on install the installation process will start for windows 11 as you can see we now have a different setup with a nicer loading screen and of course after this setup is finished we will boot up into the new OBE experience so pretty much this is the new setup experience from windows 11 starting with the build 26040 and then of course in the near future we will see this also on the main release so this is it pretty much if you want to test it out as i've said you can get the iso for yourself and test it out in a virtual machine as i did but i think it's an improvement for microsoft nice to see the windows 11 themed loading screens and so on i think it's good that the unattended install is still working so so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.